Ah, Treehouse, can't wait. Let's get it. Gotta live for today and forget about the past. Forget about the past. Fighting with yourself, fighting with your life. What's up, everybody? This is All Things Beer 510, and tonight we are bringing you a special, special, special review. This is Treehouse's J -j 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 Julius and King Julius. J -j -j Julius is a 6.8% IPA brewed with, I'm assuming, Citra Hops. Super excited about this, very excited. Then King Julius is 8.2%. And like I said, uh, Treehouse, it doesn't say what kind of hops. I've had Julius, I'm thinking it's hop, uh, Citra Hops, but uh, just super excited. I'm doing both. Shout out to the homie Jim, uh, just, you know, for getting these for me. Uh, out of all the beers that I've had, and I've had Julius um, a couple times over, green, haze, very green, um, a lot of their... Um, you know, doppelganger. I've had a lot of the Treehouse beers, um, and they're great. But one of the things that we are talking today is if Treehouse Julius is still worth the hype. A few years ago, a few years ago, and I'll have a video that should be popping up right about now. Uh, it was one of my first videos I did that when I reviewed Treehouse's Julius for the first time ever had it on camera and it's my most successful video 26,000 views right crazy like crazy when I think about that and um, and People still watch that you know when people are searching for Julius people still watch that review So I thought it would be cool because I've never had uh, King Julius and I've never had Jaja Julius to review both of these for the first time that I'm having these on film. Never had either or. And so, yeah, we're going to open that. I can smell that already. We, we're going to try both of these. And I'm going to tell you guys, it's Treehouse. Some of you guys probably already have an answer for that. But it's Treehouse. <laughs> Still worth the hype when it comes to Julius. This is not Julius. This is their... This is a different versions like i said jj julius and king julius revved up versions of julius and and this right here in this glass is king julius and this in this glass is jj julius so i'm gonna get a smell of jj julius first and then i'm gonna hop to the double ipa so let's get a smell of jj julius shout out to the homie jim jim jj julius a lot of jays going on mm-hmm so yeah, I mean, you know, when I had Julius a couple years ago, or a few a few years ago for the first time, it was like nothing. I'm the experience I've never experienced before. Just the freshness, the um, you know, the the oranges, the tangerines, the melons, just just the hops. Everything was, it was it was remarkable. It was amazing. This smells wonderful. It smells. It smells like Julius that I remember. It just is ultra fresh. This is canned. I want to say eight twenty six twenty. So um, a month old. Tomorrow is the twenty fifth. I'm reviewing this on the twenty fourth. Tomorrow is the twenty fifth. So yeah, just at a month old. It smells amazing. It smells fresh still. Just oranges, tangerines, pie. It smells like an orange cream sickle. Uh, let's get a taste. That's where the winner is gonna be. Let's get a taste. Cheers. <laughs> so yeah wow um one of the things like the smell is great and i've smelled actually better smelling ipas before the thing that kills me is how easy drinking this is yes it's 6.8 percent perfect percentage when it comes to ipas but man so pillowy so soft just super super soft super pillowy Oranges, creamsicle, um, tangerines, melons, a little bit of uh, bitterness, hot bitterness um, on the end as I'm talking to you guys. But just the mouthfeel is the winner here. Like just it's just soft and 
I, and I wouldn't say it's like orange juice. And I'm trying to remember when I had Julius, it would have been dope to have all three at the same time. Um, it doesn't remind me of orange juice. It still has that IPA type of taste. The bitterness is still there a little bit than, more than I could remember. But just that mouthfeel, it's just so soft. It's so, it's just one of the, the softest and, yeah, one of the softest beers I've ever had as far as mouthfeel. This is amazing. This is not fair. I'm almost going to finish this whole beer on camera and I won't even have, it, have enough for a picture. Um, yeah amazing 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 that you don't taste too many beers that have just this mouthfeel when it comes to other i i'll wait to talk about julius and jj julius and and what ipas are now and my palate now to what it was three years ago but still holds up i mean this is amazing so we're going to go to king julius which is a double IPA version of Julius, right? And so, mm, this smells similar, but a little stronger. A little bit more, um, more hoppy smelling. A little bit more pine, a little bit. This uh, Julius smells more, you know, orange, creamsicle, soft. This is a little bit more IPA, uh, a little bit more IPA smelling. A little bit um, more, uh, you can smell a uh, pine uh you can smell you know a little alcohol a little bit more okay so let's get a taste of king julius cheers mm. Mm. damn man man oh man yeah this is not fair you know one of the things that i can say is that this this is 8.2 percent this tastes like a five percent beer <laughs> um the mouthfeel in both and and this is even more remarkable the mouthfeel in this <laughs> yeah it's just pillowy soft just pillowy soft more hot burn than king i mean than jj julius so a little bit more hot burn a little bit more bitterness, a little bit, but at the same time, the mouthfeel, I mean, it's like I didn't even drink anything. It just, it's like walking on water, like beer Jesus. Like, it, it is, it is amazing to have something just so soft and it just so great on the palate. It glides. Um, just amazing, amazing work. I'm, that's what I'm thinking when I'm drinking this beer. Yes, the oranges are there. Yes, the citrus is there. Um, yes, all the all the flavors. The beer is great, but when it comes to just what it does to your palate, just the filling that it gives to you, it's it's, it's remarkable. It's remarkable for especially for this as being an eight point two percent beer. I've had beers, triple IPAs from some of the best in the world, and you like, ooh, that that tastes like a, a seven or eight, but. It's not as soft as this. Like, this is soft. This is like you put flowers in a glass. Like, this is just something... This is really remarkable what, what they were able to accomplish with these. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Can, nice cantaloupe flavor. Nice melon flavor also. Well done. Well done. Yeah, I mean, I don't need to say it. Just well done, Treehouse. Judge Julius, uh, Judge Julius, King Julius. You know, what I can say is, since I've had Julius to now, my palate and my taste has gotten better. I've had great beers, and and I would say probably better IPAs than Julius. At the same time, the experience, I would still say, it's worth chasing. These are worth chasing. Um, but at the same time, if you're into beer trading or you're into anything, I think this is these are great bucket list beers. At the same time, you if you're in California, if you're in New York, if you're in the East Coast, if you're in Arizona, if you're in the Midwest, you're in the South, you're in different countries. I the IPA has um, I don't think this is the same for stouts because I, I still think 
it, you can't get a great stout everywhere, but you can get great IPAs everywhere. And that's not to say don't chase down Treehouse. Please, it's a bucket list. You have to do it. It's like going to WrestleMania if you're a wrestle fan. You got to have Treehouse. You got to have Trillium. You got to have Monkish just to, 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 to say you tried it. But there's so many great breweries out there that make beers that are great like make great I like make great IPAs hazy IPAs as a people uh it's a lot of people like so you know I would say chase it as a bucket list at the same time please just know that more than usually you are in an area where you have some great IPAs also so great offering thank you my man Jim having these on camera back to back is dope and um, until next time, you guys take care. Peace and love. 100. I'm out of here. One.